guys, I miss you so much. It's Le Jeunesse Canada, and this is video number 10. I can't believe I made it here. It is a week late, but I did it nonetheless. So it's plus 12 today here in Northern Ontario, plus 12 degrees Celsius. So exciting. That's why I'm actually making a really short video so that I can get out there and enjoy this beautiful sunshine. Let's do this. So we got some jewelry today. I have some horlogy for you today, some clocks. I got some old brushes. I have an antique book from 1923 and then a really beautiful oil painting. Um, so let's get started. I really want to start with this. So this is a heart-shaped locket that says to thy known self be true. Just kidding. Um, it's a key locket that I got from uh, a local charity shop for a very little amount of money and it's actually Tiffany & Co. So I looked up this chain and it sells for $435. Cooper really likes it too. Can I put it on you? You wanna wear it? Wanna be a cool dog? So, yeah, the little heart at the top opens up and it's stamped uh, Tiffany, copyright Tiffany & Co, uh, 925 Italy. And then the actual chain has a little gusset or rivet thing that also says Tiffany & Co, 925. Um, I'm gonna show you guys this up close after. Can't wait for you to see. I'm guessing it went for such a cheap price because it was really tarnished when I got it. It was really old and like grummy looking. So I just, uh, I have this product, it's called Tarnex. It's perfect for silver and gold jewelry when you really want to buff and clean it up. So I just gave it a quick little treatment. I'm probably gonna have to do it again. Um, but for now it looks 10 times better than it did five seconds ago. Then we got this little clock. Um, it's like Dolly-ish. Not like Dolly Parton, but like Dolly the painter, D-H-A-L-I. <laughs> and um, I just, I thought it was so cool. And I was like, oh my gosh, I've never seen one of these before. This is the coolest thing ever. And then my partner was like, yeah, no, those were really big in like the 80s and 90s and they were everywhere. And I was like, oh, good to know. Well, at least I can kind of like pinpoint the approximate date of it. It's it's all plastic, so that would make sense because 80s was the decade of synthetics and plastics. It was the big boom of that. Um, it says, patent made in China, um, no jewels, unadjusted. All right, cool. So it just takes one AA battery and uh, it's got this really cool trippy look to it. Brushes. I have two brushes here. Um, these are for sure, actually this one might be synthetic, but this one is for sure real fibers. These are awesome. Um, I found them together actually years ago. This one here would have belonged to a set with a little dustpan. This is called a crumb catcher. So you used to like, I guess, eat on your table and then you would, um, pick up the crumbs into the little dustpan. This one here looks like a really old toothbrush. I think like people had really big teeth back in the day and they just like, you know, got in there. With, and just toothbrushes used to be a lot fancier. Um, I'm just kidding. It's so stupid. This uh, has got to be for like a shoe brush shine shoe shine brush. Um, it's got this really cool zigzag pattern in it and the wood top has this beautiful patina on it. It's a really neat piece. This book here is called Farm Weeds of Canada and it was published in 1923 by the uh, National Agriculture Department of Canada. Um, the book is illustrated and is printed in color which is awesome for the 20s and has all of has all of these beautiful um, photographs of common farm weeds in Canada. I'm gonna show you guys this in more detail very soon. And it came with these awesome little pamphlets. I'm guessing these like you could pick up wherever, daughter, common 
ragweed. I'll show you guys these all super soon. Then lastly, we have this beautiful oil on canvas. Um, I'm actually super sad. I just noticed I have some paint loss up in the corner here. Um, so this is a scene, um, I'm guessing, in British Columbia because on the back of the frame it says Mount Victoria. I think it's really hard to make out. It says Mount Victoria and then it says BC and then it says ASA. So. So I'm not quite sure what those things mean. Maybe ASA is the artist um, because the front is unsigned. It's really neat because the, um, the framing company that uh, reframed it, which must have been in the past couple decades, uh, left exposed any markings that are on the back of the canvas. So um, I'm gonna show you guys that soon. Also, this has nothing to do with thrif thrifting. You like thrifting? This has nothing to do with thrifting, but the big aloe behind me has been making babies like crazies. So I finally took one and repotted it. We're gonna see, I really hope it survives, but it doesn't seem to be taking quite yet. I think I'm gonna have to water it some more, but yeah, wish me luck. Nice little baby, baby aloe. You guys can hear this crazy wind. I have to show you guys what this looks like right now. Spring is springing. Here is a beautiful video of my painting in all its glory before the plant pot that was holding it from the back toppled over onto the floor and punctured a huge hole in the canvas. So this painting was sold by Kennedy Galleries Incorporated between 5th and Madison Avenue in New York. Um, the back of the frame here that's still exposed says Mount Victoria or something else BC ASA This is that dolly clock that I was telling you guys about all in plastic. It's fantastic There's that mess and there's me using my crumb catcher my crumb duster crumb buster it was definitely used for crumbs and actually worked so fantastic it alleviated a lot of stress my my rug came out even better than it was before so i just kind of brushed all the dirt off of it and then vacuumed it here is the aftermath i put a huge hole in the canvas good thing it's just material here's that tiffany uh locket so it's a key with a heart at the top, and then the heart opens. It's really sweet. And there's the little piece on the chain that says Tiffany & Co. That's the patina on the brush that I was talking to you about. And there is the cover of the Farm Weeds book. That clock's actually hard to tell the time on, but it's okay. Farm weeds. Uh, when you open up a new, I mean an old book, and just that smell, I don't know, I just love it. Hermione said it really well on Harry Potter, and she's like, the smell of old parchment. <laughs> so these are um, all those flyers I was telling you about, but not actually the uh, paintings in the book. Um, you guys will have to let me know once I show you the little video of the uh, the actual etches in the book, whether or not uh, they're like hand painted or not. I don't think they are, but it is possible. I'd like to take this time just to really thank you all who come and watch my videos and share my passions with me. I really, really appreciate you all and um, 
I really look forward to doing more videos for you guys.